Hello everyone, my name is Nadine. I'm the owner of NG Platinum Homes and welcome. Today's video is going to be about tips on designing a family-friendly kitchen. So as we know, the kitchen is one of the biggest places in the house where most people spend a lot of their time. A lot of family time is spent there. And if you have a small family or a large family, here's a few things that you want to consider if you're doing a kitchen renovation and keep it in mind to make sure that you get the best kitchen for yourself and your family in the end. So let's get into it. Number one, I think you need to be really conscious and honest about what your family needs. So with all of the Pinterest and Instagram photos floating around with really great designer kitchens, they may be beautiful, but are they functional? So you really wanna look at these, consider what does your family need to have a nice flow family kitchen. Number two, for families, you really want to, in my opinion, at least for my family, make it as low maintenance as possible. And how you can do this is consider the materials that you're using for your kitchen. And the number one material you need to think about is your countertops. So quartz, granite, quartzite, you wanna really look into considering which one is gonna be best for you. So. Are you a person that really has a high traffic kitchen and you cook a lot and you have kids for sure and you want to make sure that your countertops are non-porous and don't stain? Quartz is going to be the best option as far as maintenance on that. There really is no maintenance for quartz. So for natural stones like granite and quartzite, there's a little bit more maintenance when it comes to that as far as sealing. It's a porous material, so you have to be careful with staining and spills and that sort of thing. So you really want to consider this when renovating your kitchen. Number three, if you're doing a very large scale full renovation on your kitchen, having an open floor plan that goes to your living room and maybe even your dining room for seating, this is probably going to be the best option for having a great gathering area for a family. So you want to look at maybe removing walls if it's within your budget and definitely uh, structurally able to be done you look into that and it's a great way to open up the space and have access to kids that maybe need to be sitting at a table doing homework, family area, watching TV together and have that nice open space and flow for your family to be together. Number four and another large thing is going to be making storage a priority in your kitchen and speaking of storage, adding in pull-out shelves or organization in your pantry is really a benefit when you have kids to make sure that that organization stays in your kitchen for your kids that rummage through a pantry. Keep that in mind when doing your renovation. Number five, picking kid-friendly furniture. So kid-friendly furniture could be consisting of very sturdy furniture. And then also if you're looking for wood tables, if you have very little kids, you might want to have a more smooth wood look and nothing that has too many cracks and crevices as they can get crumbs and it's going to be very hard to clean. So consider that when shopping for furniture for your kitchen. Number six, consider microwave placement when doing your renovation. So most placements for microwaves in the past were always high and elevated and two reasons why this might not be a good idea anymore. Right now you can look into getting a drawer microwave which are the best and most up-to-date that you can go but the two reasons why you want to consider these is if you have kids that are able to use the microwave that are young, they can reach it easily. And then secondly, when you're removing food from microwaves, there's no hazard because it's lower. So making sure that you have that option is great. So definitely look into getting a drawer microwave when renovating your kitchen. And number seven, I think a lot of people do these, but I'm just gonna add it in here because I think it's fun and it goes for the family friendly theme. Adding a chalkboard somewhere in your kitchen where you can take notes. I always like to use these, I actually use a whiteboard for my kids to give them chores and things like that. So if you can find a space in your kitchen to put this, this is a great option for keeping organization for schedules and things like that for your kids. So there's my seven tips on building a family-friendly kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, keep designing your life and I'll see you in the next one.